What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, if you can ring the little bell and buy my soul tribe, I super duper appreciate the same, same, same. This is um, a collective reading. Um, I got a message in, so that's why I decided to do it. Spirit messages you have reflective. The message is a child is pregnant, and certain family members are trying to hide it from other family members. However, the situation is going to come to a huge head very, very soon. It will get leaked out. That's what I heard. It's pretty strong. Pregnant by a pedophile. Is what I just heard just now. Pregnant by a pedophile. Oh my God, that's so sick. Oh. Jesus. So I heard a child is um, pregnant. A child is pregnant. Spirit message is here. I'll like this. And certain family members are trying to hide it from other family members. But I heard the situation is going to come to a huge head soon. And then the situation is going to get leaked out to people they don't want get they don't want it getting leaked out um, to. Pregnant by a pedophile. That's what I heard. That is so disgusting. Okay, I heard try again. So you take it how it resonates. That, that's that's gross. That's so gross. Anybody that knocks up a child, they deserve um, pedophilia energy. They deserve some jail. They deserve some freaking jail. Is what they deserve. Some jail, big time. Spirit messages you have for collective. Spirit messages you have for collective. Spirit messages you have for collective. And the family member, some family members are trying to hide it from other family members. Um, that's sick too. That's sick. Because if, to get this child some help, you need to notify all the, I don't know if it's a, a it, for some it could be a um, parent that has, God, I hope not. I hope not. But some it could be a parent that's knocked up the child. I mean, I don't know. Um, but they need to notify the, the parent that truly cares. Um, somebody needs to hear this if that helps somebody I mean I'm serious because that's just disgusting that's disgusting that is disgusting if anybody needs to hear that we've got message upright lovers reverse courthouse upright I feel guided to get the Alice deck. Spirit messages you have reflected. News of this is going to get out to the parent they don't want it getting out to very soon. Through someone they never expected. They realize the seriousness of the situation. It's going to create many, 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 many series of chain of events. This person getting it out to the parent they don't want it getting out to realizes the dire situation of this now okay so you take it out resonates oh my god whoa so I heard um 
someone, uh, a child's pregnant. And apparently um, some members of this child's family is trying to keep it from at least one of the parents is what it sounds like. But um, now why they're trying to keep it from them, I have no idea, but they are. Um, I strongly feel for some of you guys, it might be some creepy family member that has impregnated this child is, is my feelings on this. And we've been getting a lot of child abuse and pedophilia energy in here recently. So I'm just saying, um, so for some, I strongly feel it is a family member um, that has impregnated this child. They probably have Stockholm synd syndrome, this child and trauma bonded this child is, and that's exactly and love bombed them so much so they have impregnated them and that's that's mental abuse at its worst mental abuse at its worst it really really is but i heard the person that somebody that knows about this is about to tell this um parent that this these family members are trying to hide it from soon because this person realizes the dire si situation um, they realize the dire situation of this um and they should, they should tell the parent to get some help, to get some freaking help in there. Um, that's crazy. So we have message upright. So I think that's number 7, 15 or 23 might be very significant or 31 or 35. 7, 15, 23, 31, 35. Um, so I think this is the message to the parent uh, that this other person is going to send to the parent um, that doesn't know about this child being pregnant right now um, to make them aware. Lovers reverse. I heard child. I heard child. So this child has to be at least 17 or younger. 17 or younger. Um, has to be. Lovers reverse. The person that is impregnated, this child, is acting very cold towards this child and creating worse series of chain of events on the emotional front for this child oh my god that's sick that that's sick that's sick that's sick okay i heard the person that has impregnated this child has um is basically acting very cold toward this child and um and it's making it worse emotionally for the child. So I'm sure the child is very emotional. I'm, I'm sure the child obviously knows they're pregnant because other people know they're pregnant. Um, it's a femme child, obviously, 17 or below. And the child knows they're pregnant. Other people know they're pregnant. And But I heard the person that impregnated the child, whoever this is, I strongly feel for some of you as a family member, um, if you're connected to this or somebody you're connected to, um, the person that impregnated the child, I heard, is acting very cold towards the child, but it's making the mental state of the child, making the mental state of the child worse because this person is acting so cold towards it, cold towards them. So it makes their mental state worse. Well, and I'm sure it does because, my God, they're knocked up. And then the one person, I mean, this is serious trauma bonding at its worst. This is um, trauma bonding at its worst, except it's involving a child. So we've got trauma bonding in here and Stockholm syndrome involving, a, but not an adult, a child, which is sick. Courthouse upright. Once this other parent finds out the full information and takes some serious action, they will definitely contact legal personnel. For sure. If the police don't get involved first or child protective services, that's a very, very, very high probability. Very high. Okay, so you take out resonates. Holy crap. So I heard um, once this other parent finds out about the... Um, child being pregnant by this other person that's going to send the message. Um, basically, um, uh, this person's going to take this um, other person who I, I'm thinking the uh, pedophile that impregnated the child. And they should. They should take them to court. They should take them to court um, and get a protection order on them. I would get a protection order. And depending on who it is, if it's a family member, um, 
if they have any kind of rights to the child, obviously get the rights taken away, obviously. Um, and then whatever act, legal action they need to take towards um, this pedophile, because this is sick. This is sick. Um, I heard if the police and child protective services don't get involved first, it's a very, very high probability, very high. You take it out, resonates. Someone's getting a very, very, very huge wake up call. Very huge. Okay, I heard someone's getting a very, very huge wake up call. Very huge. So um, you're getting a very huge wake up call about something here or something I've said or the re something in your personal life or, or whatever, but a huge wake up call about something. Number 31, believe strange encounters. This is Alice in Wonderland, Wonderland Day. Someone knew something was off with this child and it's about to be confirmed in the 3D. The person that impregnated this child will end up in jail. Wow. Okay. Wow, that's strong. So I heard someone knew something, um, someone connected to this child in some type of way knew something was off with this off with this child. So the child's been acting strange in some type of way. Um, but it's about to be confirmed in the 3D. So you could be connected to this child and figure out uh, maybe you're conversating with them on the phone or you see them in the 3D and maybe you uh, notice a baby bump or maybe you notice they're throwing up a lot or maybe um, they're saying their boobs hurt or um, or maybe they're withdrawing and they're not speaking at all when they usually just chat, chat, chat with you. Or maybe they're up under the ma uh, masculine energy's thumb, the pedophile's thumb, the whole damn time. Because pedophiles do that. When they uh, trauma bond and they um, love bomb minors, especially minors, um, the pedophiles, whether this part, whether they impregnate somebody or not, they keep that person to them, like a teddy bear to a four-year-old. They keep them with them because they don't want the information getting out. They don't want people to know. And they have such control issues, so they take it out on a minor because they can't control every, you know, normal adults. So they take it out on a minor and they keep them under their thumb. That's, that's how they do it. That's their mental, that's how most of them do it. I'm not saying all of them do, but a lot of them do. And they just keep them, like, control, control them like a robot. It's horrible. It's horrible. It happens, though. It happens. So maybe you, you can look out for that in 3D if you're actually seeing this. Um, or like I said, it could be a phone conversation and you no notice something's off or they just tell you they're pregnant. Um, you take it out resonates, but you're going to notice something's very, very off with this child. Very off. Strange encounters. So I think you're going to believe this once you see it or you hear it. Or um, you see this pedophile keeping this minor under the thumb, like a, a control freak. You take it out, resonates. Never jam today. Promises that never come to be. Empty words, not living in the now. This person that is going to notice the strange behaviors with the child and is going to reach out to the other parent is real is um, realizing that this pedophile has lied to this person in huge ways many 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 times on many instances It's going to create a huge fire in this person and want them to help this child and the other parent even more. Okay, so you take it out resonates. Wow. So, um, whoever you are, whoever, I, I'm pulling in somebody in here that um, is about to notice some strange things with the child. You're about to notice some strange things with the child. 
Now, whether the child's withdrawing, they're not speaking to you, or they just flat out just tell you they're pregnant and they just start bawling, or um, or um, you notice it in the 3D, like if that was a con phone conversation, for example, or you notice in 3D where the pedophile is just keeping them under their thumb, like control energy, like times about 500, or um, or you notice a baby bump, or you notice just something strange that you noticed that was off with this child and it relates to them being pregnant, them really being pregnant in some type of way or a confession from them telling you. Um, but however that resonates, um, you're going to, I heard it's going to basically create a huge ass fire in you. Once you realize that they are, whatever strange occurrences are going to happen to make you realize that this child is, um, you're going to, it's going to create a huge fire in you because I heard you realize that you, you've been lied to the, by this pedophile many, 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 many times. I heard many, many, many times, and it's going to piss you off. It's going to piss you off. I heard on many encounters. So many instances, this pedophile has lied to you, um, and it's going to piss you off. And I heard it's going to help you want to help the other parent even more. So deliver the information to the other parent even more. Because you realize this pedophile has lied to you on many, many, many instances, many encounters. For some of you, I feel it could be a family member. The pedophile could be a family member, possibly. Um, or uh, a family member or a friend or, um, or something of that nature. I strongly feel family member for a lot. But you take it out resonates. Wow. Let me see if I hear anything else. This child needs some help. Serious help. Guided in the correct direction. And someone knows this. And they're about to make it happen. Okay, I heard this child needs some help. Some serious help. Guided in the correct direction. And someone truly knows this. So I think it's you, the person I'm pulling in that's about to um, notice these strange things in this child and you've realized you've been lied to by this pedophile on many, many, many occasions. Um, maybe, I think for some, you wanted to believe the best in the pedophile. I think you wanted to believe the best in the pedophile, but now you're realizing you can't because now they've knocked up a child. I mean, they've done the worst of the damn worst in here. I'm serious. This is horrible. I mean... This is horrible. You've knocked up a damn child. Um, so, yeah, I think you've wanted to believe the best in this uh, person. I do. But now you, you just can't because there's just too much circumstantial evidence, basically. Uh, but I heard the child really, really, really needs help. Um, and you realize this. So I'm pulling in the person that's about to realize this in the child, realize they were lied to by the pedophile, about to take some, in your part, take some action and contact the other parent because they're trying to hide it from the other parent in a huge way. But I think they're trying to hide it from the other parent in a huge way because they know the other parent truly, truly cares a ton about this child and they will get this child some help and some guidance and um, get them out of this horrible situation and away from the pedophile. Now, maybe some of you guys haven't done this in the past or you wanted to believe the best in this person in the past because maybe they're a family member um, and you wanted to protect fam family. But we have to look at this at a logical perspective here. And this person doesn't respect boundaries. This pedophile doesn't respect boundaries and especially not children's boundaries. That's for sure. Um, so much so they feel the need to stick their penis in somebody's vagina, which is sick. That is so sick. If somebody needs to hear that, and I'm serious, that's disgusting. Um, I heard this child is mentally just going downhill they're mentally going downhill and yeah i'm sure they are because this pedophile has screwed up their life they've screwed up their life this person has not even made it to legal adult age and their lives are even screwed up because of an adult adult that has severe sexual urges that's sick that's sick someone's about to have a very 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 huge wake up call very Okay, I heard someone's about to have a very, very, very huge wake-up call, Barry. 
So you take it out resonates. And they're creating trauma bonding in this child, Stockholm syndrome. But the problem with this is it's already happened. They've already created the trauma bond. They've already created the Stockholm syndrome. And now this child's pregnant. And now they are ruining this child's life. I mean, or trying to ruin the child's life. Now, if they, they can get help from the other parent, I'm sure the other parent will guide them, help them. The other parent will do what they need to do to help this child. Um, but they need to be away from this toxic ass pedophile first to promote healing. It, healing needs to occur in this child. And it's not around this crazy ass toxic pedophile. That's for sure. Someone really needs to hear that. Okay, I heard someone really needs to hear that. So, I mean, it's the truth. It's the truth. If, I mean, this is gross. This is sick. This is not, this is beyond gross. This is sick. This is sick. All right. I love you guys so much. Everybody make wonderful choices. Somebody please give this child some help. Please, please, please give this child some help. This is sick. This is sick. I love you guys. Donations, high priestess profile, links in the description box below. It's PayPal only. I don't mess with the other stuff. Venmo, Cash App, whatever. I don't do it. It's PayPal only. Love you guys so much. Everybody make wonderful choices and namaste.